This one. Uh, this is what everyone wants to see. This is where everyone's going to be looking at who is the kind of greatest FIFA player at the current moment in this kind of generation of FIFA. And I'm excited for it. I'm sure everyone's excited for it. I know that Tex is playing it down, saying it's not the rivalry that everyone's making of it. I'm sorry, Tex, you don't get to decide. We get to decide whether this is the rivalry because these are the two best Xbox players in recent times. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event on the Xbox. It is the final of the Xbox console. It's MS Dasari versus Tex. It's always a pleasure to have those words to say to everyone watching at home. And it's very rare that this game disappoints. It's never one of those games that's a little bit bigger than the occasion and doesn't quite live up to the hype. There's always incident. There's always goals. And there's always moments of class. Form would suggest that Dasari's had a better tournament. Tex has lost more times, but of course, only those losses coming in Swiss. If you lose a knockout, he would have been out of the tournament, but it's Dasari coming forward first. Something Tex has been doing very well this tournament is his defense. Hasn't been conceding as many goals. He's very aggressively just trying to push up on his opposing player and ensure that he does win those ball back and ensure that he can actually push up and get some decent attacks on the go. Well, look how high Dasari's playing his line as well. You saw Tex there with the ball in his fullbacks. Well, under the fullbacks control here, Ferlin Mendy. And there's no real obvious out for him, to be honest with you. Dasari trying to put pressure onto Tex early on. And Tex showing us a few of those skill moves that he kind of brought out the bag and was starting to enjoy himself at the end of the last game that we saw him in the semi final. Maybe that's going to be the key to unlocking Dasari's defense in this game as he now goes back to Ferlin Mendy. He does have those four-star skills, remember? And there's the little Tex speciality, the half-drag back into Elastico. And now Cristiano Ronaldo goes for something a little bit more direct, but didn't quite react quickly enough. It's just a heavy ball as well from R9 there. Otherwise, CR7 might have been in. We were asking the question backstage, what was more impressive of a semi-final? Texas 4-0 against Felipe or Desari's comeback against Mino? When he looked down and out at 3-1, he brings it back and he gets himself into the final. And I think coming back in FIFA 20 is a lot more difficult to do than building on a lead. So I have to say that Dasari looks more impressive. And they have faced each other many a time throughout FIFA 19. And that's why this rivalry has kind of been brewing. The last time we saw them, it was a victory for Dasari. I'm sure it's not going to be something at the front of Texas' mind, but it's always something you know is somewhere lodged in the back of the brain. Well, Dasari now controlling possession and controlling the pace of the game and Frankie de Jong Steps forward and calls Johan Cruyff short there to come and collect that ball, but well read again by Tex. Turns possession back over, and now he can start building his attack. And 20 minutes gone in this game, Dan, and no big chances to speak about. This is kind of both players just feeling each other out at the moment, just seeing how they're setting up, how they want to try and defend. As Tex now goes direct down this left-hand side of Pele. Back inside to Johan Cruyff, and there's a little bit of a 3v3 situation developing there. And Dasari, throwing a bit of caution to the wind defensively, and now looks to spring a counter-attack of his own. Would expect better, really, from that pass. Tex had a fantastic opportunity of getting through on goal. It's a difficult game for both of these players, though. We heard in interviews, there's that extra level of pressure. They want to entertain not just their fans, but the FIFA community in general, but also know that this is still a competitive game. They still want to be able to win trophies. Tech said he wants to entertain everyone, but he apologizes if he has to play in a certain way to try and win the game. But at the moment, both these players seem to be playing very open, free-flowing FIFA. Haven't seen overload ball side initiated by either player just yet either, which is always a good sign. Uh, just to add some gravitas here to the situation. Just remember that we haven't had a back to well, a two-time winner, I should say, not a back-to-back -back winner so far in FIFA 20. Tex has the opportunity to do that here. And on the other side of things, Desari looking for a, a major championship in his third title in a row here on FIFA. But it's Tex who's coming forward and tries to play the ball out wide. And Desari on the counter-attack here has bypassed Ferland Mendy. He's got away with that one, though. That's where it can be dangerous with Tex when he does get aggressive with those fullbacks as Pele runs the ball out of play. A few sloppy mistakes from Tex in the early stages of this game. I'm sure he'll sharpen up a little bit the further we get into it, things. Around 10 minutes or so until half-time then in our first leg in our Xbox final. 
Again, great left stick dribbling there. Simple from Dasari, but more difficult than you would imagine to pull off at this high level. Pele now recycles the ball, brings Ambrotta back into play. Lines of flag will go up, though, as Frankie de Jong just springs the offside trap. Breaks the defensive line a little bit early. Yeah, something they've not been able to do, aside from when the offside flag's gone up, is break through that defensive line. For all the creativity and all the skills that both of these players develop, you've also got to remember that their defensive ability is also top tier. Where in other games, they might be able to find success. They're going to be matched in every area of the pitch. And it is going to be a real battle of who can be more creative, who can come up with something new. And there is Tex trying to take the initiative with something a little bit different. Doesn't work out on this occasion, but certainly signs of what we might see in the rest of this game. And looking across the personnel on the pitch as well, both players have their preferences. You see Zambrotta in the full-back position, the right-back position for Dasari and Trent Alexander-Arnold on the other side for Tex, filling that position, Pele. That left cam roll for Tex. On the other side of things, you see an Mbappe in one of those wide areas alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. So still a lot of player preference as far as who they're actually choosing personnel-wise in game. It always fascinates to keep an eye on that. And that should settle over the next few tournaments. Now we have had the Prime Icon moments released. Of course, there will be team of the season that might shake a few things up later on as we get to the latter stages of the global series. Well, here's our nine Ronaldo on the stroke of half time and Tex with the roulette. Great dribbling hit from Tex, but can't beat Allison. Fantastic stuff from the young Englishman right at the end of the first half here in the first leg. Corner. Swings this one in. Allison should deal with that, but. Not convincing from the Brazilian, but the referee will bring the half to a close. But the first real chance of the game there, right at the death of the first half, fell to Tex. Tiny amount of goalkeeper movement from MS Dasari just to shift the keeper towards that near post. Made it difficult for Tex to find the back of the net with Cruyff. And then from that corner, Tex putting Cristiano Ronaldo onto the goalkeeper to try and challenge for it. So if he does flap, it might have fallen to one of his other players. But the only shot of the game coming from Tex so far... Dasari hasn't been able to break through. There's been a few times where Tex has stepped up with one of his fullbacks and then a gap has been exposed, but Tex has done very well to then rescue that with another member from the pitch. Well, the simplicity of the roulette has been really, really effective for Tex in the last couple of games that we have seen him participate in here in Paris. Seems to be the exit speed, get that little burst of acceleration. And there's the other option that he's been using on more than one occasion, they'll half drag back into Elastico. Cruyff now dangerously moving towards the 18-yard box, but a poor pass, to be honest with you. Dasari's done well not to bite there, though. Texas approached him very slowly on the edge of the box, saying, all right, are you going to come towards me? What are you going to do with your defence? Are you going to track a run? Dasari's matched him by also doing nothing, saying, no, I'm going to wait for you to do something. I'll react to you rather than you reacting to the way I defend. So really good stuff from Dazari to recognise that that is what Tex is trying to do here. So again, Tex on the attack now. Dasari having to defend. And there is a real kind of feeling in the air about how important this first goal is going to be between these two titans. These players not wanting to be on the receiving end. They know how hard it is to make those comebacks. Find those equalizers and put the pressure back onto your opponent. Great ball movement here from Tex. R9 digs it up to Pele. Maybe thought about striking that one. Delic takes one in the face. And Dasari again defends well. You say there's something about this game. I mean, it's not just about beating the other and about the rivalry that has been created just because of the history. It's about continuing building that legacy that both of these players have made. The amount of times that these two have been in an Xbox final, they have gone on to win a grand final. You could say this is almost the grand final. No disrespect to the PlayStation players, but history would suggest the fact we've always had an Xbox winner, that getting past one of these giants may just solidify your name on that trophy once again. 
An opportunity here for Dasari, maybe to strike at goal from the free kick. He looks like he's going to take this one short, just dinks this one up to Ronaldo. Builds up once again, players forward here, tries to finesse it towards that far corner. Maybe looking for the timing on the shot as well. You saw just a little free indicator pop up there, saying he was a little bit too late on that one, but with an hour gone still, Chance is very much at a premium. Ronaldo taking the direct route here for Tex. Here's Frankie de Jong. Oh, no, he's just going to drop into that little pocket of space here. This is where Tex is so dangerous, tries to turn away from Frankie de Jong. And that's where having agility on those central defensive midfielders is so important, as well as that balance, just being able to turn as those strikers turn as well. Dasari hasn't been utilising the offside trap as much as he would usually either. Maybe concerned that Tex knows it too well and might expose him for it. Majority of the possession has been for Tex in this first leg. He does look very confident on the ball, but Dasari's done well to match him so far. Any sort of slip up though, and you know full well Tex is going to take advantage of that. A corner here and Tex is yet to be able to beat a fullback in a 1v1 situation. Dasari has defended it so supremely well so far. That might be where this battle will be won or lost as this game progresses. 20 minutes left in our first leg as Ferland Mendy steams forward now into R9. Chance maybe to strike it. Elastico but can't get past the strength of Delict, who just bullied his way back into contention. Even though he didn't win the ball, we just put R9 under enough pressure there. We saw something similar in the semi-final where Tex won a penalty after the half drag back into Elastico. Almost got away with something similar there. Dasari trying to stretch the play and Tex almost able to just nip in, win the ball back. Now for Dasari's pressure that he's had to soak up. Maybe it's going to be the Saudi Arabian who can break the deadlock here. Cristiano Ronaldo, beautiful to Mbappe! <laughs> and for all the pressure that Dasari has had to withstand, he is the one who strikes first here in Paris. And it is against a run of play, but it's a beautiful pass from Cristiano Ronaldo. And you can trust Team of the Year Mbappe in those kind of positions. Has the ability to absolutely thwack it past the goalkeeper. And it shouldn't be too discouraging for Tex because of how he has been playing and the amount of possession he has had so far in this game. And as long as he doesn't allow that to frustrate him for the rest of this tie, I can see him getting back into this. Dasari just showing though resolve and confidence once he has finally got into those attacking areas of the pitch. Little flick, little fancy pass just into the path of Kylian Mbappe there and the team of the year for I am the Frenchman here in Paris scoring what could be a vital goal to decide who becomes our Xbox champion. Changes of foot here for both players as well, you can see that. Yeah, and as a reward for scoring the goal, Mbappe is then removed from the pitch by MS Dasari. A lot of substitutions made just to bring some fresh legs onto the pitch. So Yusebio will now take position on that left-hand side for Dasari. For Tex, it's kind of more of the same. Hasn't necessarily had the, the clear-cut chances that you might see in other games of FIFA. But he's done enough to worry Dasari and certainly keep him on his toes at the back. You can see Dasari now maybe just sitting a little bit deeper than he was previous. See that first goal going in. Tex again, trying to isolate that fullback. Goes back inside this time to Alexander-Arnold. Looks that ball through to R9. This is where Tex is so dangerous. Takes the shot and... As Tex takes the shot, Allison takes off to turn it behind for a corner. But a good response here from Tex, having gone down. Immediately trying to put Dasari back under pressure here. Doesn't want to go into the second leg of goal down. Messi with the ball through here to Kylian Mbappe. Linesman's flag will go up though. And even though it's a position Tex has been in many a time, going into that second leg and responding to how his opponent is playing, it's been Dasari really who's allowed Tex to dictate the pace and it's been Dasari reading Tex and saying, all right, what have you got to offer in this first leg? What are you going to do with your famous attack and your famous skill moves and even though Tex has come close to breaking through doesn't have a goal to show for it 
Dosari is going to be more than happy with how this first leg has gone. And towards that 90th minute then, is there going to be a sting in the tail here? Dosari, the man with the ball at his feet. That's what we doubt. Enter stoppage time. Ronaldo gets a piece of it, but Dosari will keep the ball and find a ball inside here to Frankie de Jong. Mbappe comes across to win the ball back and maybe an opportunity here with just a few seconds left for Tex to go forward. Cristiano Ronaldo stretches his legs down this right-hand side. Messi now twisting, turning, half drag back, but Ruud Hullet stands tall here for Desari and at the end of the first leg here in Paris. Blow for blow. But the only punch that's really counted so far has gone to MS Desari. Yeah, pretty evenly contested first leg. Possession has favoured Tex, that's for sure. But Desari clinical in front of goal. And whilst we have a, a break in these legs, and Tex will, I'm sure, be taking a little trip, as he always does, between legs. We can talk about the coaches a little bit. I mean, you see Lev Vinken there behind MS Desari. Hashtag Harry behind Tex. Two phenomenal players. Harry this year, this is the only event he hasn't qualified for. Lev Vinken at the E World Cup last year and, of course, runner-up in the playoffs. Maybe not known for their tactical advice, however. They are kind of these banterous friends and someone is there to lift spirits as well as their sheer amount of knowledge in FIFA. Yeah, Lev Vinken also, in my opinion, the standout player in all of Jimmy Conrad's pickup games from last year. Oh, absolutely. Tough tackler. Absolutely. Uh, knows how to put himself about and I'm sure that given some similar advice, maybe emotionally, to Mr. Sari as he does physically on the football pitch. But if you do have the opportunity to get along and watch Lev Vinken play, I would seriously suggest it incredibly entertaining stuff. But just make sure you're on his team. Yeah, you don't want to go up against him. I would then <laughs> even step foot on the same pitch as Lev Vinken. You would die. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be leaving the pitch, let's put it that way. Or if I would, it would be on an ambulance. For Dasari, he's got a goal lead. And he does look like he is more than comfortable with dealing with what Tex has to offer going forward at the moment. But how many times can he respond to the kind of half drag back Elastico and the way that Tex is trying to beat that final man? Surely at some point Tex is going to be able to break through and have that clear shot on goal. This is going to result in an equaliser. There certainly will be chances and certainly the game will open up a little bit more. It's all about concentration. And I think, like I mentioned towards the end of that first leg that we just saw. It's going to be a battle of Dasari's defending with the fullback in the 1v1 situations against Tex attackers. He's so good, Tex, at somehow getting past that player and getting inside the box. And when Tex gets inside the 18-yard box, that's when you worry as a player because he is so unpredictable. Is he going to go for a cutback? Is he going to go for Elastico? Is he going to go for ball roll? You know, there's so many options that he has at his disposal. If you can... Cut that off at the source, essentially. It's like when you're playing football and you've got someone who loves to whip the ball into a tall striker. You always say, get out to the, the person who's going to cross the ball. Cut off the supply. Dasari's doing a very similar thing here. But in FIFA terms, for Tex, he's got to beat that man. He's got to find a way to beat him or look for another way to attack Dasari. And all the meanwhile, he also has to keep on his toes and defend against Dasari, who has just such incredible vision. I, I talk about FIFA players and I talk about play styles and Dasari is someone who trashes, transitions so successfully from each iteration of FIFA. It doesn't matter whether it's 17, 18, 19, 20. He is just one of the best because he has a footballing brain. He knows exactly how to play the game. He sees these runs being made by players, but then he also takes the meta from FIFA and knows what he can or can't do on the virtual pitch. And yeah, okay, he hasn't, Maybe had as much flashy skills as we've seen from Tex in that first leg. But he's the one who was able to get the lead. 90 minutes then in our second leg to decide who will be our Xbox finalist. If Tassari can hold on or find a second, he will be the Saudi Arabian with an opportunity to add FIFA 20 to his list of FIFA installments where he has won a major title. For Tex, first things first, he's got to find an equaliser here and possibly send it the distance. He certainly has the capability to do so. It is a case of more of the same and continue to have this possession and this dominance of the game. But in the early stages, Dasari just keeping the ball a little bit. Maybe trying to dictate the pace of play himself rather than allowing Tex to do so as 
what happened in the first leg. Well, square ball is on a gone again here to Frankie de Jong. Pele comes and collects, and Zambrot will turn back inside to find de Jong again. He's so nimble on the ball, Frankie de Jong. That's what makes it so difficult to defend against. And speaking of difficult to defend against, Desari coming out with some fire at the start of this second leg. And only for the right hand of Allison has the scoreline stake at 1-0 on aggregate. All I'll say is thank goodness Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't have a five-star weak foot. Otherwise, he would be absolutely unstoppable. Here's Johan Cruyff then into Cristiano Ronaldo, but just swarmed. My Texas players there as he has to be very careful with Ferland Mendy to pick out a pass. Really, Desari just not allowing any space for Tex at the back, making it very difficult for him to even get out of his own box, let alone into Desari's half. But Tex has done well to keep this ball here. Not be too scared by the pressure that has been applied. And not for the first time we're seeing this tactic being employed by Desari, playing this high line to start the game off. He's sure, once he got that, game, that goal in the last game, he did drop back a little bit. He, you know, put men behind the ball. And I wonder if that's because... When the player's stamina is higher, Dasari is happier to play that high line because he can cover more ground. But yeah, towards the latter stages of games, sometimes players that you rely on to defensively get back and cover you, they can let you down at just the wrong times. Tech still has possession, though, and still being able to play the ball around in all areas of the pitch except that final third at the moment. We'll keep possession here with Cristiano Ronaldo, and Robertson's going to have to get back into position and this is the battle I was talking about fullback versus wide camp on oh, Ronaldo goes back inside to Alexander Arnold still Tex not able to find a way to get that ball inside the 18 yard box and again Dasari he's just cutting everything off at the source here for Tex usually what makes Tex so good against other people is he's not looking at just the first pass he's usually thinking two passes ahead the downside is Dasari is also doing the same thing. He's also that intelligent. He has that footballing brain that he can read two passes ahead as well. He's cutting all of these runs. He's positioning his central defensive midfielders in these spots where Tex isn't able to break into the areas that allows him to utilize his skill set. And with 25 minutes in, it's still looking like Dasari who would be moving on. He's still having chances as well, and that's the scary thing for Tex. He's already shown how deadly he is as well. We know how deadly Dasari is. Once he gets a chance, it's very rare. You'll see him not do everything in his power to make sure that that chance ends up in a goal. Offside trap played by Dasari. Again, just trying to squeeze pressure onto Tex. But Tex has finally found his way towards the 18-yard box. Here's Ronaldo, maybe baiting that little elastico again. Rude Hullet back to R9. Can't twist away from Frankie de Jong. And you have to say, de Jong has been exceptional in that position so far for MS Dasari. Well, certainly when the team of the foot item was released, everyone looked at those statistics and were like, wow, he is special. And he has done the job for Dasari so far. Well, Cristiano Ronaldo now trying to turn onto that right foot. And, oof, not going to lie, I didn't think there was enough power to really trouble the goalkeeper there, but Alisson... Forced to turn that one behind for a corner. And now Dasari gets the ball back to Cristiano Ronaldo, but Rude Hullet steps in and ooh, Tex has to be careful here. And he does very, very well to escape the danger. And now look at the acres of ground in front of Cristiano Ronaldo just to run into. De Ligt has to come across and deal with him. Ronaldo back inside here to De Jong. Cruyff inside the 18-yard box for the first time in a while. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tex is looking so dangerous. R9, but again, not the premium chance that he could have created. Back turn to goal. It's always going to be a lacklustre finish when you try and swivel like that and take the shot, even with the likes of prime moments. R9. But Tex just looks so good going forward. He's having to work so hard just to get inside that 18-yard box. I mean, how many times can you say so far across the first 90 and the, the second 40 minutes so far that Tex has even managed to get inside the 18-yard box? He's pulling all the tricks out of his book. Well, at the moment, none of them have been particularly successful to get past the rock-solid defence of MS Dasari. At the same time, Dasari has looked dangerous every time he's gone forward and Hullet has to 
Get a toe end on that one. And one thing we certainly can say is both of these players dealing with the pressure phenomenally. Not struggling when there's a couple of misplaced passes at the back or if they're under that a lot of pressure. Cristiano Ronaldo now inside the 18-yard box, stops up, finally Surely. takes, has found his way past Asari! The battle won for the first time in that fullback position by Tex, and it results in the equaliser. And he just looks across and gives a subtle little nod and he will stay calm as it's job done. He's got that goal. And it was R9 in the perfect place, the right place at the right time as he so often is. And it's what this game needed. I think it would have been somewhat of an injustice if Tex wasn't able to display all this skill and all this ability to go forward and then not be rewarded with a goal. But he's got to be careful here from the restart because Dasari has found space with Johan Cruyff and Mendy has to defend. And he does so. De Jong now, right at the death here. Almost finds a pass away, but a half time here in the second leg. Still nothing to divide these two Titans. What a game we have in our hands. Yeah, a really close game you saw briefly with the statistics as well. Possession, nothing to separate the two of them. Texas had one more shot. And that shot did result in a goal with R9. And it's how he's been able to break away on this right-hand side with Cristiano Ronaldo so successfully. And again, brings me back to my point of how vital this team of the year, Cristiano Ronaldo, has been, not only in this tournament, but the last couple since the team of the year was released. Without him, it's going to be so difficult to be able to break through with how defending is at the moment. But Desari from the kickoff has a clear tactic on how he wants to go forward. Fires that ball down the line almost immediately. And now Tex has to defend. He has to switch on. Because Dasari really has been very good going forward himself in this game as well. He's created chances. You could only be saying that first pass. He created more clear-cut chances than Tex did. However, that pass, not too great. But at the same time, Tex is just giving the ball away as well. As much as I was saying, these players are dealing with pressure. Some more risky balls coming into the equation now. Something I always appreciate players trying, though, rather than always going for the safe option, I prefer seeing players try and experiment a Tackle. little bit. That's the aggression from Tex again with his fullbacks. There's not many players you'd see pull a fullback out of position to try and win the ball back, but Tex is almost synonymous with it himself. Switch of the play here to Frankie de Jong, goes all the way across to Ferland Mendy now. And there is loads of space on this left-hand side. And he's been found as well. Foot race here between Pelé and Zambrotta. All flies up in the air. Yeah, falls to Dasari. No danger here for the Saudi Arabian. And Tex really trying to counteract that overload ball side now with the quick switch of play and then driving the ball down the wing that almost every player at this tournament has worked out by this point. And what a lot of players at this tournament don't have to offer is what they do after they get the ball down the wing, whereas Tex does have that ability to dance his way into the box and into an opportunity at goal against so many others. Oh, no, he makes a fantastic run. It's found here by Tex. Takes the ball towards the back post. And Allison. Well, I think he had a little bit more time than he thought there. And that's going to be a corner to Tex. It's the mistake from the goalkeeper. Going to be what creates a chance here for the young man. Tassari defending once again. So often I say, I have said this tournament, like, get that ball to the back post. Cristiano Ronaldo is there and he is often a mismatch, even if heading isn't as strong as FIFA 19. Texas tried it once. And Ronaldo's beating the fullback here. Space inside here for Hullet to attack. Goes back inside to R9. Tex looking dangerous again, but Hullet gets back to make the tackle. Just too many bodies to get away with a drag back like that. If he was successful, it's probably a clear-cut chance, but there's a massive opportunity now for Tex. LA picks the ball up here. Around 30 yards out from goal. Gets the return ball from Frankie de Jong. Pele, de Jong, pinging the ball back and forth, but again, just can't quite combine to create that chance that could win the game. He was playing it quickly. He wanted to take advantage of a couple of players out of position by going for the ping-pong approach. With 23 minutes left, nothing to separate the two. Tex leads in this leg, but 
Dasari did get a goal in the first leg. If it does stay this way, we will go to extra time. And then penalties to decide it if nothing splits the two. And this game really has been an example about how micro decisions and micro things can influence games between the best in the world. Well, it goes across here to Frankie de Jong. Desari building from the back and now dinks it in and Van Dijk is one player who can win those headers against Ronaldo. If you see anyone going up against him, you're happy when it is Van Dijk, but again, it's Desari trying something a little bit different. Whether it's been from set pieces, whether it's been crossing the ball, it's always been Cristiano Ronaldo as that target man. Here's Pele again on the left-hand side, just being able to beat the fullback so successfully. Texas is just a nightmare for anyone trying to defend with the fullbacks. Frankie de Jong into Cristiano Ronaldo, gets the ball back on that right foot as well. Virgil van Dijk has to stretch to get the block away, but again, Tex knocking on the door here. And now we are going to see changes on both sides, personnel changes. Is there a super sub that's going to be introduced here? Is there going to be a hero in Paris for either MS Dasari or for Tex? The only two players left in the tournament who are previous Foot Champions Cup winners. We started with six here in Paris. And they were one by one knocked out and eliminated. And one more has to go before we get to the grand final. From the corner then, heel to heel from Mbappe. Tex trying to pressure Dasari, instead goes back and recycles the play to make sure that he doesn't get caught on the counter-attack. That's respect to MS Dasari. Frankie de Jong again to Hullet. Two Dutchmen linking up in midfield. Offers so much going forward and back. Everyone behind the ball for Dasari now as Tex marches on with only 10 minutes left and Dasari knows that one slip up and this game is over and his tournament life will also be over. Just a few minutes left then. Frankie de Jong gets caught out by Dasari. Good pressure here from the Saudi Arabian. And the counter-attack is on here for Dasari. Certainly was on, but Tex did well with Frankie de Jong. Mbappe steals in though. And what a story it would be if the man who plays for Paris Saint-Germain could create something here in Paris. A winner for one of these two players, Ronaldo. Into our nine. Tex at the death. Into Cristiano Ronaldo, but the linesman's flag has gone up. It is certainly Tex knocking on the door at the moment, though. Just needs to ensure when he is going forward that he doesn't do anything silly with it. And oh, that's silly. Oh, Ronaldo going to get there. Oh. oh, my word. Imagine the game was decided by that. Oh, I mean, thank God it wasn't. Oh, your mouth for Dasari. As Tex almost nips it with R9 again, as Dasari desperately just trying to play the ball around with his defence. Ball over the top though by Dasari. Mbappe will get on the end of it. Van Dijk can't win it either. Ronaldo gives the ball away from Robertson. We're into stoppage time here in our Xbox final. Pele with the tackle on De Jong. There's still time. What a ball that is. Allison. What's going on? Where are you going? Oh. R9, is he going to get there? No, he isn't. And the referee will bring the game to an end. We're going into extra time. Allison has caused a lot of worry there for MS Tassari in those final few moments. His head's gone. But the two best Xbox players around in this era of FIFA cannot be separated after two 90-minute legs of FIFA 20, and we go into extra time and potentially penalties as well. Tex definitely looks the more likely of scoring with how he has been going forward and how he has been threatening MS Dasari's defence, but Dasari has very much stood up to the pressure. A couple of mistakes at the back and a couple of worrying passes, that's for sure. But also, you know, every single time Dasari gets that ball and he goes forward, there's always that potential of him creating that little bit of magic as well. And this is the thing now, you've got fresh players on the pitch in those wide areas against tired fullbacks. 
That's still where the battle's going to be won or lost between these two players. I'm talking at both ends. Dasari looking to utilize that long ball over the top. Tex trying to isolate that fullback. But extra time is where we find ourselves. Nothing to split these two players. And because players are going to be a little bit more tired as well, expect to be overload ball siding on both sides. Here's your Sabio. Some of those fresh legs for Dasari. Frankie de Jong, Lionel Messi. Such a dangerous player to bring on in these situations. Tex makes the interception, but gives the ball away almost immediately now. As Messi picks it up once more. You can, be, you can really see the speed in which Tex is just trying to break away and get a counter-attack. He wants to go at Dasari here. He wants to win this game. We saw it in the early stages of the knockout rounds where it was in the 115th minute rather than just saying, OK, I'll take a penalty shootout. He pushed on. He wanted a goal. Mbappe's in behind here. Zambrot is struggling to get back and defend. Back inside to Lionel Messi. Messi turning. R9. Surely not now. Defended so well again by Dasari. He's going to be a corner, though. Played short. Tex Sabio just pinches it off of Messi. Yeah, Tex loves playing it short and then going into the box, but this time predicted by MS Dasari, and that's where Tex does have to be careful. There's that running behind here for Cristiano Ronaldo. Look at the ball across to Lionel Messi. Oh, my word. It just seemed to curve away at the last second. I think Dasari thought, that's my chance to win this game. It looked like the perfect ball. Just skipped away from Messi, and thankfully, Alisson was there to do something about it. Stoppage time at the end of the first half of extra time then. You can feel the tension here in Paris. What a game this has been. Ronaldo does beat Robertson. Pull it forced out of that position. Tex now into R9. Inside by Tex! Magic once again from the feet of Tex. Dasari shattered at the end of the first half of extra time. And you could put that down to just incredible ability again on the right hand side with Cristiano Ronaldo. Something as simple as a step over to beat the man, having the vision to play it back across the box and then take the risk of that final and extra pass to R9. As the whistle goes at the halftime of extra time, it could have been Dasari going in with the lead if Messi was able to get to that ball. But one of the biggest problems with Messi, just quite short, that base player model. Wasn't able to quite stretch out for it. He was beaten by Alisson. And now with 15 minutes left, Dasari, who had to come back in his semi-final matchup, will need to find something similar here against Tex. And I think you could say for both of Texas' goals have been the only times that he's managed to beat that fullback in the 1v1 situation. It's so deadly. It's so difficult to play against. Tex showing no emotion whatsoever when these goals are going in, though, because he knows what he's up against still. He's seen what Dasari can do as far as coming back is concerned. And he knows he's got a lot of hard work ahead of him, even though it's just 15 more minutes in-game he has to hold on. And it is quite... Funny that in the interview yesterday, Tex saying he just wants to have fun and he's got Harry here to enjoy himself, but it's all business in game. You've got to say, you see him score that goal. No celebration a, whatsoever. Out of tournament. Stern face. It's business time. I don't care what you say. Finals, trophies. You're going that's to what everyone plays for. It's MS Dasari you're playing. You can't celebrate too early. Especially when Dasari's in behind almost immediately here from the restart. And one thing to point out here is Dasari does have the ball. From kickoff, Mbappe is the man who gets back to defend. I mean, I'm expecting to see a pretty big outburst of emotion if Tex can hold on to this victory. I'm expecting the stone face. Maybe after a little roar, and maybe he might toss his hand warmer towards his mum like he's done in a few other rounds. Every single time he scores, it is a little nod of appreciation towards his mum who comes and supports him at all of these events. And maybe here a chance for Tex to end this. R9, Ronaldo. No! Oh, and Dasari. He has a chance here to go forward. Given away, though. Lionel Messi round the goalkeeper. No. 
And this almost put to bed twice now by Tex, but Dasari lives to fight for eight more minutes. And could those chances come back to haunt Tex Look here? space here for Lionel Messi. Dasari, who was holding on by a string in this game, now has the chance to come forward again. Surely not! What? Virgil van Dijk! Oh, oh my word! One of the best light tackles I've seen, if not all tournament, if not all season. Sambrosa will win the ball back though. Dasari throwing everything forward here at Tex. The Saudi Arabia with a... What? Oh! 2-2 on aggregate! The king of the jungle has something to say about the outcome of this game. And who better in Paris than Zinedine Zidane? Absolutely walloped into the top corner. And Tex was mere moments, mere inches away from being into the grand final. Take yourself back just a few seconds, Dan. The chances that fell to Tex. The fact that Alisson managed to get a hand as he tried to ball roll with Lionel Messi around him to finish this game off. But now, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. 2-2, two -two, tied up on aggregate. A few moments left to decide if anyone can create a chance. Otherwise, it will be decided from the spot. This never disappoints. Never. I just wish we could add another game, add more minutes, just play this one out between two of the best Fight around. Forever. <laughs> but it will be a penalty shootout if we cannot see another goal from one of these two. And you saw the panic in Texas defense ever since that opportunity when Dasari's just streaming forward towards him with every single player on the pitch. And it is so difficult when you get in that kind of mindset of, well, I've just hit the post and then I've, I should have probably scored with Messi. Your brain is still very much focused on that. Whether you are the most composed player around, that is something that you are 100% going to be thinking about. And if not all 100% of your brain power is going on defending against MS Dasari, the 2018 world champion, and he is going to take full advantage of that. Maybe one last chance then for both of these players. Just a few moments left in this game for one more attack. Tex does have possession as we enter the 120th minute in our Xbox final. Last attack or bust I feel here for Tex. Hold on to the ball and say, look, I either win now or we're going to a shootout, Dasari. Spreads the play to the left-hand side. Not as much space on the left as he would have liked for him. Does have a 1v1 though on that left-hand side, but Dasari switches player, has to deal with it though. And Mbappe's gonna get there, can he keep the ball in? Yes, he does, Van Dijk has to deal with it. And we are going to the spot, ladies and gentlemen. Messi first up here for Tex. He scores. And now the rebuttal from MS Dasari. Messi for him as well, and Tex makes the save! How much of an influence is Hashtag Harry going to be here as Mbappe sends it left, but it hits the post! So close from Tex, and Dasari has the chance to equalise with Yasebio, oh, but it's saved it. again by Tex! Oh, nine steps up. He misses as well! Just the one penalty converted so far, and we're tied up after three penalties apiece. Ronaldo. For Tex. This one goes wide as well, and it's a second missed. And Dasari can take advantage with Mbappe. And it has. Tex has to score. Hullet steps up for Tex. Dasari saves, and he goes through. But Tex has given himself a lifeline here. Dasari scores. And he will go through. Oh! Tex makes the save. He lives to fight another day. And then De Jong. That one saved, though. Dasari to win it all here. Dasari, no. Oh! I do not believe what we're seeing. Mendy now. No! Wide! One last chance for Dasari to win. It's Robertson. No! He goes right. He scores. And Dasari marches on. Tex eliminated here in Paris. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable drama here in Paris with the king of the jungle. Holds his nerve. Holds his heart. That's a heart attack here. Live on stream. <laughs>
But what a performance from MS Dasari. I fell off my chair. <laughs> I'm holding that my heart. Out. I genuinely fell off my chair. I cannot believe what we just saw. Uh, I think we should say a huge round of applause and congratulations to both of those players for putting on such an incredible, incredible spectacle of FIFA Esports there. Uh, commiserations to Tex, of course, but we've one thing we've forgotten in all of that craziness is MS Dasari is the Xbox champion here in Paris. Amazing from Dasari. And now he's just one game away from going for that three-time major title across consecutive, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Go FIFA on. 18, FIFA 19, FIFA 20. I mean, he will be putting himself in the history books if he does so. Tex misses three penalties there. Two of them going wide of the post. That's not what we're used to seeing. Dasari will take it though, but what an amazing game it was. Yeah, let's hear from MS Dasari now. And uh, Gillian, if you could just check his heart rate at the same time to make I sure it's okay. I did, I checked That'll his heart good. rate and he said, I have a funny feeling right here. <laughs> All smiles as you came down. MS Dosari, is that exactly what you would expect in a Dosari text matchup? Yeah, I know, especially in this FIFA, it will be a close game. Uh, you can see because we played like each other in the previous events. And I'm now 4-2 against one of the best players in the world, is Donovan Tex. And I'll, have, uh, I'll give him a credit, obviously. And uh, both of us, I know that there is too much inside the pitch, but out of the pitch, like we have too much respect for each other. And that's what we want at the end. Uh, but yeah, I think it was an intense game. <laughs> it was on pen, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm really happy again. And uh, yeah. You two had people falling off their chair, the game casters, everybody. Can you take me through your own emotions during this game? I don't know, like, uh, Tex missed a chance, I think, uh, in the post, so I'll have to thank R9. So, uh, so I think that's the deciding of the match, that I know, like, uh, you will have one more chance, so be calm. And uh, I'm good at comebacks, I think. <laughs> you seem to be pretty good at comebacks. Uh, then a really nice video of you two kind of chatting before the game earlier went out. It's all over Twitter. What were you and Tex chatting about? Uh, to be honest, like, I know there is too much intense between our followers and something. But like obviously when we play in the pitch inside now in the game, like we play like a real rivals, but like outside the pitch, we really respect each other and our history. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it. But yeah, I don't know. See you in the grand final? Uh, yeah, I just hope the best player won. And yeah, that's for you guys. Dosari, thank you so much. All right, who will take on MS Dosari in the cross console final? We will find out after the break. That match next. If someone asks you what you're made of, don't just tell them, show them. Show them that you're made of proving the doubt is wrong. Show them you don't have to raise your fists to be your enemies. Show them you're stronger when you stand together. And show them whoever you are, you stand shoulder to shoulder against all forms of prejudice. Because when we show our best side, we don't just play the game, we change it.